Uh, we're here today with Monica, uh, the CEO from Infuse. And I'd like to start by maybe you introducing yourself a bit to our audience. Yep. Uh, hi, my name is Monica Linkama. I am the co-founder and co-CEO of Enfuse. And Enfuse is an issuer processor. So we enable different kind of entities to give out cards and do mobile payments in very many different use cases. Okay. okay, so we're here today with the new branding of yes. Enfuse. And uh, tell us a bit more, what was what, the reason uh, behind uh, this, uh, this big move? Yeah, well, when we founded Enfuse, it's, it's soon seven years ago, actually, in, in, in a couple of days, it will be seven years. Um, we wanted to build a company that enables change in the payment industry. And, uh, of course, as we are Finnish, we are really focused on tech, compliance, processes and people. But marketing and branding kind of isn't our you know, strong strong point. Yeah. And uh, so our first logo, which serves us really well, I actually bought through Fiverr for $15. And uh, now when we've grown a lot the, the past uh, few years, especially in the last two years, uh, I think it's really important that the kind of company we are, like the kind of people we are, the services that we we offer, enable, and the partners and customers we have, but that's also somehow visible. And that's why when we hired our chief marketing officer, Vanessa, I think it's around nine, ten months ago now, uh, she was set out on a journey to make all of the awesomeness that becomes Enfuse also visible. And I remember when she asked, like, okay, what can I do and what can't I do? And I said, like, you can do whatever you want, but you can't change the name. And uh, now, uh, on, on Tuesday, we launched a new brand. Uh, and, and she was given the timeline, like Money 2020, that's the place to, to do it. And I'm really happy because it's really important for us to, to have the brand really look like we are, so that it also attracts the right type of people to come to work for us, with us on this journey, and of course the right type of customers and, and the right type of partners. And when I say right type, I think it's like, we have the saying of get shit done. Like, we will do what it takes to get it done, but we will focus on doing it in a compliant and secure manner. So for us, when we talk about happiness built in, it's really about for us, especially our, like we are sitting in a sauna here, so our Finnish heritage, we are the happiest uh, country in the world, six years running. And for a Finn, happiness isn't like, oh, happy clappy. It's really about things working smoothly and flowing. And that's what we also wanted the brand to visualize. And I, I have to say that. Yeah. But that's not the I, I think a good it was job. a good work. Uh, we can share, yeah. uh, we can show the brand here. Yep. Yeah. We'll put it uh, all the details yeah. down there, but yeah. well, um, I like the T-shirt. <laughs> it looks very good. Yeah. Uh, but now, um, tell us a bit more. What, what, what? Who are these uh, right customers and um, from our audience and whoever is going to to watch our our um, interview here? Yeah. Um, who should be um, your customer? Who are we looking for? Uh, you can be anything. That within, let's say, there are different ways that you can uh, uh, put in payments, but I think it's really important that you have a clear understanding of what's your value proposition, what's your purpose. I'll give an example. Uh, for example, we have mobility as a service providers, and their purpose is really to enable smooth traveling. So, what, when having the card, Apple Pay, Google Pay, it makes the, the, the people, unlike now in the Netherlands, you have launched this transit capabilities that you can tap and go anywhere. I think that's awesome. So th those kind of uh, players are our, our customers. Uh, then uh, banks, financial institutions, big banks wanting to enable fast new products that help their customers manage their everyday spending or saving or paying. Uh, you can be uh, expense management company like Pleo. It's our customers. We issue the cards. We also do a lot of good stuff with the government and, uh, and also we did, for example, uh, refugee cards. So enabling really financial inclusion because if you get a card, 
uh, if you're in a stressed position and you get a card, you can be like everyone else in the payment when you go and pay and buy something. You don't have to have this kind of paper slips that you get from the government or something. So it is really a diverse portfolio of capabilities. But I think the thing that we want from our customers is that they really understand what value they bring. Because I think then we can help them the most. Okay. Okay. And what are your plans for this year? What, uh, besides the, the big uh, change, the, the big rebranding, what other plans do you have um, for this year? They're growing. They're growing. We, we, we have grown last year 60% in revenue. But, but I think more important than, than the numbers, uh, but of course numbers matter, is to grow with good customers and really get a strong foothold in Europe. And I, I'm, I'm really, uh, one company that I really admire is like Adyen, the Dutch company on the acquiring side. So I want to be what Adyen is for acquiring, I want to be on the issuing side. So having a very strong foothold. So anyone who wants to do anything with the payments, uh, issuing of, of money, should want to work with us. That's the game plan for the next 12 months, to strengthen that position in Europe. Okay, sounds good. Um, would you like to, to have another um, a closing, a closure a statement uh, for today? Now, I really like uh, you know this Money 2020. For us, this is the, truly the main event, and it's awesome to be here in the Netherlands, and I'm really happy to participate in in, in this interview, so thank you for having me. Thank you so much for having us, and uh, yeah, thank good luck for the future. Thank you so much.